everyone. It's Elena here with Kiwi Connect, and I am here with Kate Frickberg from Philanthropy New Zealand. Um, so here at New Frontiers, we're chatting about um, ideas, I guess, for solving some of the world's most complex social and environmental problems. Um, Kate, what sort of role do you see philanthropy playing in such a future? Hmm. I think ph philanthropy's got a really important role um, because it's hard to do stuff without money. Money enables things. I also think it's only a small part of the, of the puzzle. Um, money doesn't solve everything. And also, I think change happens from who we are and how we relate and what we do. And the collective impact of all of us is the most important thing. Um, and I also think that philanthropy is not just the domain of very wealthy people. If we live comfortably, then we can all give. So, yeah, we can all contribute. Yeah, we're seeing initiatives, I guess, community or grassroots driven initiatives like the 1% Collective who are encouraging people to give away 1% of their annual income. So do you see a, a role in the future, a bigger role for individuals and small donors to be making? Oh, totally, totally. I mean, if we are lucky, if we are blessed, if we have things in abundance, why wouldn't we share some of that? And there's many ways of sharing that. And I think what's important is sharing in proportion to what you have rather than the actual dollar amount. Um, and if you can't give money, then there's time. Yeah, of course, We're seeing um, time banks and labour sharing schemes and cooperatives and that sort of thing. Um, I'm curious to know, um, how do you see philanthropy working in? We're seeing um, trends globally even towards impact entrepreneurship and social enterprise that are building, um, the, making change around business models. How, how do you see philanthropy working with that? Hmm. I think philanthropy's got a really important role there uh, in two different ways. So you can provide um, income from your balance sheet or from your grants budget uh, for social enterprise and for um, impact businesses. So if you are using your investment portfolio, assuming you're a traditional philanthropic trust, um, if some of that is dedicated to equities that are socially responsible and some of it's the social loans, then actually you're making use of not only the tip of the iceberg, but also some of the iceberg underneath. Um, I think that's a really powerful thing that we should all be thinking about if we're in that position. Um, I think there's also a role for grants in the social enterprise, particularly in the startup um, phase. So it's a case of what's the right tool for the job. Right. And are you seeing um, significant changing trends in, in the way philanthropy is working around social enterprise or around the way that we uh, have this relationship with giving and receiving? Hmm. Well, I think we've got a long way to go. Um, I think what you just said there about giving and receiving is a really interesting one because the standard philanthropic model is one of um, an arm's length giving transaction, which is one way. Um, here in Aotearoa, you know, we talk about reciprocity and, and gift exchange. I think it would be very interesting to see uh, Aotearoa philanthropic model, which is a wee bit different. Um, there's actually, actually lots of trends happening in philanthropy, um, and a lot of really exciting ones too. So I can go through some of them, but there's quite a few of them. Do you think there's some unique um, strengths that New Zealand has to play where perhaps other countries aren't taking such approaches? or? Mm. Um, we do tend to follow what's happening overseas, but we have our own way of doing things as well. Um, the very obvious one is having a Māori perspective in um, what we do, what we give to, how we give. Um, we also have a slightly different philanthropic scene here, so we have more um, statutory trusts, which are not, um, <laughs> which are not, not uh, an individual generosity, but rather set up through um, like the sales of the um, the community banks and the um, energy trusts. So we've got quite a diverse philanthropic scene here, um, and we've got you know th through philanthropy New Zealand, which I chair, we, we, we've got quite a lot happening to try and get people working together, collaborating, you know, share what they're doing, um, learn more, and be more connected with communities. Yeah, I guess when, when you say philanthropy, a lot of people instantly think of, okay, giving money, but um, I, I suspect you're talking more about giving time, resources, expertise, and mentorship as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the literal meaning of philanthropy is the love of humanity, um, and I really love that definition. Love of um, I think you know, most people would not think of the giving of time as part of philanthropy, and it's, you know, the word actually is a bit 
you can't even say it half the time, you know. So I'm not sure even sometimes it is a particularly help, helpful word. I think giving and sharing is better words. So when we talk about philanthropy, we're normally talking about financial resources, but actually there's much more we can give and share than that. Fantastic. Sounds like an easy way for people to get involved in their local communities. Absolutely. We can all do something. Thank you so much, Kate.